2014 GMC Sierra doing the AC evaporator core. First thing you need to do, open up the center console lid. And this piece here all comes out one piece, pulls up. It's got some clips back here and around the sides. You got like four connectors back here you need to disconnect. Then it's got these plastic pieces on the side, one on each side. Go ahead and pop those off. It's going to expose. You have one bolt down here, and then there's another plastic cover down here that you pull off to expose another bolt. You got your two bolts up here, and then on the back, the little clip. A hinge on the front, so pull it right from the rear. The right hand A pillar cover easily comes off with the two bolts that hold the handle on and then it just pops right off. This side also pops off but then you have to pull uh, this little clip slides up into here. So you pop it off and then, and then you pull that out and this comes out. This The speaker grills are all part of this one piece. You just got all these clips on the back that pop up and then it pulls out. And then your sun load sensor, if you just twist that a little clockwise, it can pop out. Pull the fuse box cover off here, it just pops up from the bottom. And then you're going to have this major dis disconnect here. This pulls off there, and then you have this one over here. Of course, you're going to have to pull your sill plate. And then on the bottom, your ISS shaft bolt is a uh, 15 millimeter nut, 13 millimeter head bolt. You're going to have to rotate the wheel uh, clockwise a little bit to get your ratchet in there. Make sure to pull your floor duct off here. <clears throat> you don't want it coming with the dash. It's just this one little Christmas tree pin. Disconnect these uh, connectors on the BCM. You can leave these on the passenger side with the driver side connectors. Disconnect them and then pull this panel off of this junction block and these two big connectors on the bottom I'm gonna take those off because those come with the dash now there's another harness on this big connector up here the blue one you can leave that because that goes up to this pillar harness so that stays with the vehicle it's also attached to this connector here which has this plug that pushes into the harness right here that little hole there so that pops out of there but this harness itself stays with the vehicle there's one metal bracket here on the driver's side with three bolts passenger side behind the little panel here you have this connector here go ahead and pull this out because this is going to go with the dash um, and then this connector here goes up and plugs into the fuse block here, so pull that out. That stays with the car. And uh, then on the top here we have this harness comes from the uh, from this stuff up the A-pillar. And plugs in here to this little module in here. And then the there's another antenna that's hidden right back behind here. Unplug that and uh, these two will stay with the car. I believe this is going to stay with the car, I'm not sure, but I've unplugged this and it's got one little connector here I'm going to pull out. So earlier in the video I was wondering if this had to be disconnected. Uh, of course it does. It's got a little stud there that holds that. On the top of the dash there's going to be 10 millimeter M6 bolts in here, there's one there, you know there's several of them that go across the dash and then there's going to be two 13 millimeter M8 bolts. You get them with two of the three inch extensions, a 13 millimeter short and the, the air ducts in the way but it will push out of the way if you push hard hard enough, hard to see there but the air duct is bent over and I was able to get on that bolt. Uh, the other one is right down there. Now pull your subwoofer out, just three nuts, one connector.
So this stash came out uh, very easy. I, I did everything I showed uh, before this in the video. The only thing I missed was go ahead and take this nut off here of this ground stud because uh, you can get this dash back for the most part but this wire is a little bit too short so pull that wire off and then there is um, this connector here goes on the dash right there pull that up you know it pops out a dash as well there and this electrical connector unplugs so this is going to stay with the car and then on the passenger side it also has one of those ground studs in the corner and you need to remove the nut and it has two wires the larger eyelet stays with the car but then it has a smaller one here that uh, that goes with the dash and now we have plenty of room I did leave the shift cable connected it had plenty of clearance but this dash is one of the easier ones to pull for sure so you're gonna need to remove the battery and the little bracketry here has to come out for the battery to come out and then you got to uh, just these uh, two 10 millimeters a bolt here a nut here and then you got your two 10 millimeter head bolts right here and right there and then there's gonna be a nut on that stud a 10 mil bolt over there and then there's one bolt behind the intake that they want you to remove the intake manifold to get to but you don't need to um, try to show you that but so we're looking behind the dipstick here and you can't even see right back there there right it is I've already pulled it out but in order to get to that you use your really long quarter inch extension with your impact swivel quarter inch into a 10 millimeter so we have double swivel and you're going to place the extension right above the valve cover here behind that connector for that rear coil so you're going to go way back at an angle and you can get to it the hvac box pulls out with no hardware on the inside it's only bolted on the firewall side so it's very easy to remove the evaporator core you just have to pull this one top housing off and to get that off there's one air door actuator here and the recirc actuator pull those uh, you pull the recirc actuator so you can go ahead and pull this harness because it wraps back behind there you're going to pull that harness back to give you access to pull this up and then the evaporator core just slides right out now this one was leaking and they didn't really have anything on the evaporator core well you could see it on the foam and so i was a little concerned but it definitely was leaking as you can see the green dye is all sitting in the top here so that's what I could see with my scope. So to get the dash back in, you want to go in with the driver's side first and have the passenger side back about six inches or so because the fork on the uh, you know the metal part of the dash on the driver's side, if you try to just go in straight with the dash, will like hit up against an, an AC duct or something, and you can't put it in. But if you go in with it tilted a little bit, it'll get to the side of whatever it's hitting and then it will easily pop into place so the two studs in the corners the one there and one over there make sure to put your nut on and tighten it up before completely putting the dash in place because it's very hard to get in a socket behind there with the dash in place 